Welcome back to another weapon video video and today we're going to take a look at the Amprex this amazing beam electricity weapon with high voltage like volt and it has a great crowd control all right CC now we can use that because it's crowd control this is uh, one of the amazing electricity weapons and mm, well I think Amprex I want to see another electricity weapon like the Amprex or if not, give us Amprex, a tenant Amprex. For sure, give us a tenant Amprex. Why not? Anyways, fire rate is 12. We have the reload 2.6 and 100%. Why did I say 100%? It's magazine of 100. Uh, we got critical chances 32%, high crit, critical multiplier 2.2 times that, and status 22% with electricity damage of 22. So you're going to see high criticity in this one because it's going to be a whole lot of crit. Here's my bill. I'm using Gavinized Chamber. 80% multi-shot on kill. 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. So you're stacking at 5 times. 30% multi-shot. We got Gavinized Aptitude. 80% status chance on kill. 40% direct damage per status type effect and target for 20 seconds. Stacks up to 2 times. So you're stacking at 2 times. 40% status chance. Stormbringer in effective clip equals corrosive both 90 mods and vital sense 120% critical damage so the next mods that i use now a lot of people are not going to be excited about this but if you do have a river mod i have my own here i throw that in there and it gives me 100 160.5% critical chance 97.3% status but it decreases my fire rate now the fire rate is going to suck a little bit because i have another mod that actually decreases that as well which is crit delay all right, crit delay, 200% critical chance, 20% fire rate, two times. Well, we don't care because this is not a bow. Um, but, yeah, it does decrease the fire rate. I think, honestly, it should be good because this is only a um, a hold, keep holding weapon like Ignis Wraith so, or Ignis. And it's just, why does, should the fire rate matter? Do you really need fire rate for a weapon like this? Possibly not, possibly not, but probably sometimes it's going to be yes. I think not most of the time though. So, yeah, I guess F the fry rate. And then the last mod, yeah, we can't forget this time Bane of Grenier. All right, 55% damage to Grenier. Any Bane mod you use will do damage to that target. Rank 5, on kill, 30% damage for 4 seconds, stacks up to 12 times, 30% reload speed, and 100% ammo maximum when you use Primary Merciless, one of the best arcanes to come to this game. You can also throw on Primary Deadhead if you want. Alright, Primary Deadhead gives you 120% damage for 24 seconds, stacks up to 3 times, 30% to Headshot Multiplier, which is going to make it crazy good and vital for an enemy, decreases your 50% weapon recoil, which just doesn't have any of that. So... Yeah, you can use anything you want. I probably might just stick to Primary Merciless, and then I guess we'll switch to Primary Deadhead after that. But since this weapon does have a 100 magazine, I think Primary Merciless is the best one to go to because of that 100% ammo maximum, all right? That is the biggest, the biggest thing that is going to be for a weapon like this because it will get low on ammo, if you don't have someone like Carrier who's going to give you ammo and replenish it every single time on pickup. So it'll vacuum clean that up, honestly, and it'll give it to you. That's why I use Carrier all the time. So here we go. As you can see, crazy good damage. And no, fire rate does not matter. That's gone, that's gone, you're gone, 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 and gone as well. Realizing that I had Arcane Acceleration on, this gives you, uh, on a critical hit, 30% chance to 490% fire rate, two primary weapons, and uh, exclude shotguns, so that doesn't work. Yeah, let's try to take that off this time, and then now going back to my build, um, let's talk about switching a mod out for a different mod. 
Now, I was going to say if you don't have a Riven, you can either switch it out for damage. That's up to you. Or if you want to switch it out for bladed rounds and you have some good crit, which is still at 90, uh, 96 point, well, 96% basically. It's still good to go. Still good to go. So, playing around, you can definitely throw that in there. And let's see the uh, fire right now. Yeah, there we go. So, still doing the same damage. It's, uh... It's not more crit, but it's somewhat still good on crit, though. And that crit multiplier should definitely help us out. So I still see it as improvement. And you're only over here. Like I always put in the primary weapon builds, if you use carrier prime with the prime laser rifle or super prime, does not matter. You just need these three mods on, and I did it again. Vigilante Armaments, Offense, and Favor. And once you have those three mods on, you'll be able to increase Critical Chance. As you can see, makes it way more powerful for um, Primary Deadhead to kill all these enemies on Headshot. Even though, uh, well, the Crowd Control doesn't really do much as, you know, Headshot is just... It's just crazy. It's crazy good. You can't not go without some headshot damage. And that's my bill for the Amprex. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And if you didn't, then please do not. When taking Amprex to the Steel Path, it's an amazing weapon, of course. It really kills all these enemies. Like, damn near. It's just easy. Of course, Corpus is going to be the biggest thing that is the problem. And that's why it's just not going to be... Uh, corrosive can't be on the weapon for sure it can't be on the weapon so definitely switch that out for a different element uh, something like viral just go with viral you know it, it definitely takes out corpus as well um, but yeah that's the only thing that's standing in the way of this but everything else it just wipes out completely just not corpus enough but uh, yeah Amprex this is uh, a crazy one right here I'm dying, uh, I'm dead, I'm just dead. Because I'm not paying attention. And yeah, the weapon is kind of making me mad because I can't tear through any of these corpus enemies. However, that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch, links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.